How to tell if a molecule is polar or non-polar using dipole moments. A dipole moment is a vector which has a magnitude, direction, and represented by this arrow symbol. Each molecule has a dipole moment, and the electronegativity of its atoms determines the dipole moment of a molecule. For example, in this hydrochloric acid molecule, since chlorine is more electronegative than hydrogen, this HCl molecule has a dipole moment, with the arrow pointing towards the more electronegative chlorine atom. What ultimately determines if a molecule is polar or nonpolar is whether it has a net dipole moment. In short, polar molecules have a net dipole moment while nonpolar molecules do not have a net dipole moment. Or in other words, its net dipole moment is zero because their individual dipole moments cancel out. To determine if a molecule is polar or not, the best way is to always draw out the dipole moment arrows. For bromine and chlorine, since the atoms in their respective molecules are the same, it means that they each have the same electronegativities. Hence, their dipole moments will cancel each other out, leaving with no net dipole moments, hence making them non-polar molecules. Same thing, for these molecules, let's draw in the dipole moments. As you can see, the dipole moments cancel out. Hence, they have no net dipole moments and thus they are non-polar molecules. Now, let's draw in the dipole moments for ammonia, or NH3. Since nitrogen is more electronegative than hydrogen, the arrow points towards the nitrogen atom. And as you can see, due to the shape of the ammonia molecule, it will result in a net dipole moment as the dipole moments do not cancel out. Hence, NH3 is a polar molecule. Next. A water molecule has a bent shape, unlike what we saw in carbon dioxide, which is linear in shape. And since oxygen is more electronegative, its dipole moment arrow will point towards the oxygen atom. Thus, there will be a net dipole moment in a water molecule, making it a polar molecule. Likewise, for CHCl3, because of the hydrogen atom, there is a net dipole, thus making it a polar molecule. To sum up, if there are no atoms of different electronegativities, the molecule is non-polar. If there are atoms of different electronegativities, the next question to ask is whether the molecules are shaped such that the dipole moments cancel out. If the dipole moments do cancel out, the molecule is non-polar and if not, the molecule is polar. <laughs>